Blessed Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. But it is from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. But it is for the whole body, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy monastery, and for those who enter this faith, the mighty and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and the country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of fruit on the fruits of the earth, and for the peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, by air, for the sick and the suffering, for the captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, around danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Remember in our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us offer ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. For to you are all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, to the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, blessed are you, Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget. Help us 
save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, our God, by your grace. Remember in our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the death of us, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us offer ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. For you are good, O God, and the lover of humankind, and we offer glory to you. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages.
Σε αυτή τη βόηση, σε αυτή τη κρέση, σε αυτή τη βεσπίδα που μείνει, άγιο ο Θεό, άγιο ο Θεό, άγιο ο Θεό, άγιο Determined from the wise man, 
then was fulfilled what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet saying a voice was heard in Ramah lamentation weeping and great mourning Rachel weeping for her children refusing to be comforted because they are no more now when Herod was dead behold an angel of the Lord appeared in the dream to Joseph in Egypt saying arise take the young child and his mother and go to the land of Israel for those who sought the young child life are dead then he arose took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel but when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea instead of his father Herod he was afraid to go there and being warned by God in dream he turned there aside into the region of Galilee and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets he shall be called another is patriarch of the gospel Let us say with our full soul and with our full mind, let us say, O oh Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in your great goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Kings and Archbishop Alexander, our Abbot and Stephen, the Venerable Priest, the Deacons in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Again, we pray for our country, President, all civil authorities, and all those in public service. Again, we pray for all the priests, deacons, monks, and nuns, and for all our brothers in Christ. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever remembered founders of this holy monastery and for all our fathers and brothers, fallen asleep in the Lord, Orthodox Christians who rest here and elsewhere. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, forgiveness, and remission of sins of the servants of God who come to this holy monastery to worship, for those who work in its service, for those who support it, for all those for whom we have promised to pray, all those for whom we are obligated to pray, especially his servants, Amir, Gada, Vasile, Joshua, James, Mary, Radvis, Alisa, Valentina, Tatiana, Valentina, Samir, Pam, Sarah, Juliana Florin, Maria Mikhail, Sarah Raphael, Priscilla and Mina, Monk Father Athanasius, Agamina, Boris and his family, Sherry and her family, Maria and her family, Maria, Vincent, and Vladimir, <coughs> Anna, Vladislav, John, Anna, Anatoly, Peter, Dimitri, Andre, Daria, and Matthew. <coughs> For Matushka, Veronika, Noga, for Anna, Tamara, Alexandra, Julia, and Natalia, Diakon Georgi, <coughs> Yuri, Adriana, Daniel, Kendall, Emmett, Ezra, Theodore, Serena, Marilyn, Tyra, Christopher, Vladimir, Brenda, Mikhail, Georgiana, Gigi, Joanna, Rebecca, Lily, Dragos, Luminica, Alexandru, Vladimir, Alex, Stefan, Mikhail, Valentin, Christian, Rodika, Elena, David, Maria, Elena, Nikos, Nalamez, Arseni, Senia, Maxim, Christina, Timofey, Anastasia, Monchi, Odina, Stoyanka, Krasimir, Dimitri, Peter, Violeta, Kerala, Babi, Todor, Joan, 
Lydia, Karima, Valia, Jada, Flavia, Constantine, Mikhail, Angelica, Maria, <coughs> Solene, Todora, Augusta, Robert, Jacob, Logan, Olivia, Tyler, Atelia, Dele Quignon, Kalika Bogdan, Alexander, Alexandra, Vladislav, Richie, Magdalena, George, Graham, Emmeline, Andre, Betty, Elizabeth, Donna, Marina, Anna, Veronica, and for the Brotherhood of this Holy Monastery. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who are being persecuted for the Christian faith, especially the Christian faithful of Egypt, Syria, Iraq, and across the Middle East, that the Lord God will send down upon them every spiritual weapon to endure their tribulations, and that he will grant that peace which surpasses all understanding upon the region and throughout the whole world as a foretaste of his heavenly kingdom. Lord have mercy, Lord. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good work in this holy and humble and honorable house, for those who serve and those who feed, and for all the people here present, awaiting your great and rich mercy. For you are merciful, O God, and a lover of humankind, we offer glory to you. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, Almighty Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our cry of repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves humankind, deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over us and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh, Master, Lord our God, who heard Elijah the Tishbite because of his zeal for you, and for a time commands that the rain be held back from being sent to the earth, and again in this prayer, granted it through very rain, to yourself, O oh, Master of all, who are being entreated, out of your deep compassion, grant abundant rain to your inheritance, and overlooking our sins, send down your rains upon every place, entreating and praying for it. Make glad the face of the earth, for the sake of your poor people and infants, animals and plants, for they trust in you, that you will give drink to them in due season, for you are our God, a God who shows mercy and saves, and to you we send up glory, to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the souls of the servants of God who have fallen asleep, especially our God, loving town, and Adam, our Theodore, Theater, our priest, Mount Peter, priest, Yardi, and that they be forgiven all their transgressions, whether committed voluntarily or involuntarily. Again, we pray that the Lord our God will establish their souls where the righteous repose, for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, for the forgiveness of their transgressions. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and our God. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are the resurrection, the life, and repose of your servants who have fallen asleep, O Christ God. And we offer glory to you, together with your Father, who is without beginning, your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Grant eternal repose and blessed sleep, O Lord, to the souls of your servants who have fallen asleep, and make their memory to be. Eternal. Can you give us pray for the Lord? Bless us the faithful pray for the Catechumen that the Lord give mercy. 
canción de Now lay aside every earthly care. 
Я буду царем всех подвигов, и не дарю всем очинами, аллилуйя, аллилуйя. Ну и картные крыльи, случайные антихи, все фокачевали вияться в ты, Энтвей к святой Катарича, фото грижа, целым ясно, сон в дом. Я буду царем всех подвигов, и не дарю всем очинами, аллилуйя, аллилуйя, аллилуйя. И закрыл время, тайно образующее, Живут раньше тройцы, три сяти в десять пробающие, Сиях не линии, житейский угол жизни по причине. Я буду царя всех подвигать. Ангельский и невидимый дарю на всем очинами. Аллилуйя, аллилуйя, аллилуйя. О, Гад, как вы сыны, ты не бросил ами. Ну, не зелено, когда стешу, как вы не покачал суши на вещи. Боже, чисти меня грешного и помилуй меня. Forgive us, brothers and sisters, all of our sins and transgressions, and we, in turn, forgive you all your sins and transgressions. Lift up your hands to the Holy and bless the Lord. Archbishop Alexander, the Honorable Priests of the Diaconate Christ, for all the clergy, and for those of monastic life, the monks and the nuns. May the Lord our God be with them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. For our government, for our president, for our Congress, for the judiciary, for those who serve our country in the armed forces and elsewhere. May the Lord our God be with them in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. For the sick and the suffering, for those who endure in persecution for the Christian faith, for those who are in captivity and for their salvation, for those who are traveling by land, by sea, and by air, and all those in special need of God's grace, especially his servants Joshua and Olga, and Anna Veronica, may the Lord our God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. For all those who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, especially our God-loving founding abbot, Archimedes Theodore, and the priest monk Peter, and priest Georgi, may the Lord our God grant them the light of life in his everlasting kingdom, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. For all those for whom we have promised to pray, all those for whom we are obligated to pray. May the Lord our God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. And all you Orthodox Christians, may the Lord our God remember you in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Holy Spirit serves us all the days of our life. 
Remember me, Master. May the Lord God remember you, King George, in his kingdom, always now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gift here presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy monastery and for those who enter this faith, while it's in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us again by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful God, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Let the grace of your Holy Spirit. Forgiveness of and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All good and useful for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remainder of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. The creation ending of our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Remember in our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious lady that I talk us an ever virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us offer ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassion of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Peace be to all spirits. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. I love you, Lord, my strength, the Lord is my rock and my fortress. My God is my deliverer. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ the Son of God.
единого Бога Отца, Вседержителя, Творца неба и земли, видимым же всем и невидимым, и во единого Господа Иисуса Христа, Сына Божия, Единородного, и же от Отца Рожденного прежде всех век, света от света, Бога истина от Бога истина, рожденно, несотворенно, единослучно Отцу, им же вся выше, нас ради человек, и нашего ради спасения, шедшего с небес, и воплотившегося от Духа Свято и Марии Девы, и во человечеся, распятого же за ней Препантистин Пилате, и страдавшего, и погребенно, и воскресшего в третий день по Писанию, и вошедшего на небеса, и сидящего и десную Отца, и папе грядущего со славы, и судите живым и мертвым, и Его же царствие не будет конца, и в Духа Святаго, Господа Животворящего, и же от Отца Исходящего, и же с Отцем и Сыном с поклоняемой славим от глаголовшего пророки, во единую святую и соборную апостольскую церковь, исповедуете на крещение и восставление грехов, Чая воскресения мертвых и жизни будущего века. Аминь. Și pentru a noastră mântuit, să făcări din ceruri și să îngrupat și la Duhul Sfânt și din Fecioară Maria și să făcut om și să răstrigni pentru noi în zilul lui Ponții Pilat și a pătrimit și să îngrupat și a înviat a treia zi după Scripturii și s-a înălțat la Sfânt și șade de a dreapta Tatrui și erași Va să vină cu mărire să judece vii și morții, a cărui împărăție nu vă avea să sfârși și e tot Duhul Sfânt, Domnul de viață Făcătorul, care din Tatăl Procede, Cel ce e plână cu Tatăl și cu Fiul, este în Cina și Mării, care a grijit prin proroci, e într-o ună sfântă să măricească și apărească biserică, mărturisesc în botez spre iertare păcaților, Aștept în viere morților și viață viacului ce va să vie. Amin. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. Have mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, Be he with you all. With your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is meet and right to worship the Father and the Son. And it is proper and right spirit. to give you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship you. Everywhere you go. For you, O God, are never inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and existing ever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us from non existence into existence. And when we fell, you again raised us up to heaven and bestowed on us your kingdom, which is to come. For all this we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all which we know and all which we do not know, for your benefits manifested and concealed, which have been done for us. We thank you for this liturgical service, which you deign to accept from our hands, though before you stand thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, the many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim who would fly and soar high, Singing the triumphant hymn, shouting a loud cry out, and proclaiming, Holy, 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 with his blessed power, O so Master and Lover of human time. We also shout out and proclaim, You are holy, all holy, you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You are all holy. Yeah. 
gave himself up for the life of the cosmos, taking bread with his holy, pure, and blameless hands, giving thanks, blessing, sanctifying, and breaking it, gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Therefore, remembering this commandment of salvation and all those things done for us, the cross, the tomb, the third day resurrection, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, the second and glorious coming, we offer you your own of your own, in behalf of all and for all, we praise thee. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Do not say that the concessions of the media for Kotosu, Chiri Yeshte, Moja Chisti Yabreshtu, Ibumiranya. O Lord, who in the third hour sent your most holy spirit upon your apostles, do not take him from us, O oh good Lord, but renew him in us to pray to you through him. Do I the church of Christ Jesus the Lord? In Charles the Three, the Peace of Boston, the Third, the Church of Bonnolet, the Luther the Lord, the Mir the Dishonor, the Mercy. Господи, и же пресетаво Твоего Духа, в трети час апостол Твой не спослави, да го благи, не отими от нас, но обнови нас, молящи Ти Ся. Again, we offer you the spiritual and bloodless sacrifice, and we call on you, we pray, and humbly supplicate you, send your Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these Eucharistic gifts, offered here. And make this bread to be the precious body of your Christ. And that which is in this cup to be the precious blood of your Christ. Having changed them by your Holy Spirit. May the Lord God be with you in his kingdom always now and ever. Amen. So that for those who partake of these Eucharistic gifts, they may be for the awakening of the soul, for the forgiveness of sins, for communion with your Holy Spirit, for fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for confidence towards you, but not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those fallen asleep in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady, the birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary. The Lord Jesus Christ, the most holy mother, bless us of always now and ever, in the age of Among 
the first, O Lord, remember our Metropolitan Tikhon and our Archbishop Alexander. Preserve them through your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, that they may rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember, Lord, 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 this holy monastery, every monastery, city, town, and village, and for the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, O Lord, travelers on water, on land, and the air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and their salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and do good in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor. Send down your mercies on all of us. And grant us to glorify and praise with one mouth and heart your all honorable and magnificent name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Hear and remember the holy saints again and again in peace with us. Pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts we offer them sanctify with us. Pray to the Lord. Let our God, full of mankind, receiving them upon his holy heaven in an ideal altar and the sweet spiritual fragrance to send down upon us in return his divine grace. Grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, keep mercy on us, and keep us a God by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and seamless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Guard and the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. The Christian ending of our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. For the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that with confidence and without fear of condemnation we may boldly call you the God of heaven, Father, and say,
spoke and it was done. He commanded and it is to the past. Oh, man. Especially 
crucified him before the Lord and done the same Jesus Christ. Commission of his sins and life everlasting. Amen. Serving the God of the beast. We did the pressure on your body, but our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Miss your sins and life for last name. Amen. Serving your God. Grand Michael, we did the pressure on your body, but our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. For mission of his sins and life everlasting. Amen. Serving to God. Vincent. Receive the precious holy body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of his sins and for life everlasting. Amen. We serve to God, James, receive the precious holy body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of his sins and life everlasting. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true life. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. Worshiping the undivided truth. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Let thy mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. Oh, 
I greet all of you on the second day of Christmas in the Orthodox Church. Many of our feast days last more than one day, and we're at the second day of Christmas. There's no fasting for the 12 days of Christmas, all the way until we get to January 5th, the day before the Theophany, the baptism of our Lord, which is a fast day. So even on Wednesdays and Fridays during this festive period, there's no more fasting. And there is no fasting on Sundays uh, between now and Great Lent. So please feel free for our agape potluck lunches at the liturgy to bring whatever you please uh, to share with your brothers and sisters in Christ. We invite you to stay for our agape potluck luncheon. It is our, our traditional meal of brothers and sisters in Christ that we share here at the monastery. We're temporarily having it over in the hall across the parking lot because we have no heat in the building where we normally have our lunches until the uh, supply chain eases up and we get our stoves that we ordered months ago and we can have heat again in that building. But we do have everything over there. There's a kitchen with a microwave and an oven and everything else to heat your food if you'd like to share. We also have ecclesiastical wall calendars over there for next year. Uh, please take one for your family. We also have bottles of holy water. We try to always keep that on hand for you to take home whenever you come here. Uh, please feel free to take that. We don't charge for any of these things, but if you believe a donation to help the expense of the calendars, we're grateful. Um, we are reminded that the gates of our monastery are open every Saturday and Sunday. Saturdays 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sundays 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for people who want to come and pray and light candles in our chapel. If there's ever a special need during the week, just contact us and we'll try to accommodate you. <coughs> we distribute a newsletter with all of our services during this two-week holy period between the Nativity of Christ and the Theophany of Christ, the Baptism of Christ. So if you didn't get it, you can always ask me to send it to you, send me an email, I'll be happy to forward it to you. But the most important services remaining are going to be liturgy on January 1st, New Year's Day, a liturgy of St. Basil the Great. We also commemorate St. Basil the Great on that day and the circumcision of Christ. We'll also take the prayers of St. Basil, the exorcism prayers of St. Basil following the liturgy in lieu of a sermon in order to get the evil forces out of our lives from last year. On January 6th, the Ophany will celebrate the baptism of Christ and we'll have the fresh holy water freshly uh, blessed for you. For all the other services, you can always check um, the schedule. And we also have our calendar on the web, our Google Calendar. You can always check there for times of services. I remind you that the Alameda County Public Health Department recommends vaccination for everyone five years old and older, boosters for all adults 18 years and old and older, and they revised their masking mandate on Thursday, December 8th. 2021, that masks are required for everyone indoors, including the vaccinated, except for performers and religious ceremonies who are exempted, which include the clergy and those singing the responses. Uh, also, they can be removed for religious uh, rituals, like receiving Holy Communion. 
and they can also be removed when we're actively eating and drinking of necessity in our lunches. But if we're not actively eating and drinking, we should be wearing masks. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As I said, this is the second day of Christmas, the second day that we celebrate our Lord's nativity and His incarnation. We celebrate that God is born on earth. And moreover, He is born as a human being, as a man. Perfect God and perfect man. He never ceased being who He was. He is the eternal pre-eternal Son of God, through whom all things were made, the Scriptures say. The Logos of God, the logic of God. God made everything logically through the Logos, the Word of God. So He forever remained as God. But from that point in human history on, He remains as the God-man, both on earth and in heaven. He's the unique God-man, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah. Why do I say perfect man? I say because only in the God-man is man without sin, without evil, without death, totally filled with God and with all divine perfections. The God-man demonstrated and proved this most convincingly. Man is only truly human when he is completely united with God, and in everything, in every way, completely lives in God, thinks in God, feels in God, acts in God, is virtuous in God, is immortal in God, is eternal in God. Only and solely in God is man a true man, a perfect man, a human being in whom all the fullness of the Godhead lives. Let's analyze this basic evangelic divine human truth about the nature of man, his true nature. Only as the divine soul in the God-man does the human soul become and forever remain sinless, immortal, godlike, holy, perfect, and eternal. And the same can be said of his mind, of his heart. of his conscience, of his will, and of his body. And only as the divine life in the God-man does our human life become and forever remain sinless, immortal, godlike, holy, perfect, and eternal. Everything that man is and everything that is human lives perfectly works, thinks, feels perfectly, is truly human, immortal, divine, and eternal, only in the God-man and through the God-man, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Only through the God-man is Christ truly divine majesty and the highest value next to God in all dimensions. For this reason God became man, and has remained the God-man, Jesus Christ, for all eternity. With the God-man Christ, everything that is God's has now become man's, has now become human, has now become ours. So that each of us individually, and all of us assembled together in the divine human body of Christ, the Church, might become God-men, having attained, in the words of St. Paul in his letter to the Ephesians, having attained to the perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Therefore, this feast of Christmas, the Nativity, the days on which we celebrate the birth of the God-man, our Lord Jesus Christ, is the greatest and most important day in the history of all the dimensions in which man moves and lives. Truly this is a great joy, the only true joy, 
the only eternal joy of a human being in all realms of existence. The God-man Christ is the most important event of all the worlds in which man exists. He is the ultimate event. He is the ultimate justice, the ultimate love, the ultimate good. The God-man is the most important man of all the worlds of man. He is the ultimate man. The God-man is the most important God of all the so-called gods of man. He is the ultimate God. For as the Holy Apostle Paul told the men of Athens on the Areopagus, on Mars Hill, near the Acropolis, he told them we should seek the Lord in the hope that we might grope for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and we move and we have our being, for we are also his sons and daughters because of his incarnation on the Nativity. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Please come with your right hand cupped over your left to receive the holy bread that blessed our people.